Hello, fellow scratchers. In this episode, we are gonna create a cookie cooker. Yes, that is right. So the first thing we'll have to do is rename this to cookie cooker. There we go. Now, go to my assets pack here, which I will share it soon, and click on the See Inside button. There, you can either export all of these or drag it to your backpack. I will drag it to my backpack as it's only four things. Three sprites in one backdrop. There we go. Once this is done, go back to the previous project, delete the previous scratch cat, and drag all of those four things back here. Don't forget to drag the backdrop too. And you can de pre delete the previous white backdrop. There we go. Now we can start coding. Add a when green fat clip and set cookies to zero. There we go. Now switch the casting to the cookie sprite and we want it to go to the same position as it is now. Now, create a clone of myself. So when I start as a clone, we will add the back layer. So set size to 100% and make it go to the back layer to make it go to behind the cookie. Now switch costume to back. There we go. Now, go to the position it is and add a forever loop, making it turn right by 0.4 seconds. And when this sprite click, we want it to change the cookie variable by 1. Now, add a forever loop at the when green flag click below. And go to front layer. Now, we want it to point in direction sway, as in the cookie will sway left and right. So this might sound a bit confusing, but by me. So the first thing we do is we want it to sway left and right. So do what I am adding at my screen and everything will be all right. Okay, so this will make it sway left and right. Now at the same time, add a change size by a multiply and minus. So we change size by 0.2 slowness and always set the size to 50. Okay, so that's when we click on it, we'll change size by negative 10. Now click on the green flag. Oops, the cookie looks too small. That is because we set the size to always setting it to 50. We should change it to 100. There we go. Now it looks nice. And when we click on it, it will keep getting smaller and go big again. That is how the change work okay now we are going to code the particles so add a create clone of particles and go to the particles bar now we will now we will code the particles as if the particles would drop out behind the cookie so when i start as a clone we want it to clear graphic effects and set the size now you can see you have all of these variables. So add the set and change variables I add. Now this might be a bit complicating, okay? But I'm gonna tell you anyway. And I'll try my best to explain it to you. So basically, this sets the x velocity to a pick random number left to right, which then will repeat changing it, moving it left and right. The, it will only move to the most is three, three steps away from the cookie. Okay. And the y velocity is make will make the the cookie particles fly up. And when it fly up, it will slowly go down. Okay. So set x to x position and y position, 
and we want it to turn well while it flow down. So we set the direction to ninety. Okay. So we repeat until the x, the y position is high enough for it to go down. That's when we change the direction to a multiplication and division of division with is the y, the x velocity divided by the x of x velocity times a. Then we'll set change the y velocity by negative one. Now. Set x velocity to the multiply of x velocity times zero point nine five. So we want it to turn, right? So we'll point it in direction, the direction variable. Okay. Then we will make it go to the x and y variable. Okay. So at the same time, we'll change the x and y by the x velocity and the y velocity, and we'll change the clone by negative one. Okay, as we delete the clone. So when you click here, you can see that the cookie particle will fly up and down. Click there. You can see cookies fly going up and going down. Some going higher and some going lower, and some moving it a bit left and a bit right. Okay, so that is what the when I start as a clone code do. It makes cookies appear at the back of the cookie sprite, and the time the more we click, the more cookie particles will appear behind. There we go. But sadly enough, this will be the end of today's video. As in the next video, we will be coding a score which will count how many times we click the cookies without using variables. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you in my next video.